¿Lo querés en algo aparte o en tu plato? ¿En qué? ¿Los frijoles? Ok, ok. Good evening, people. Good evening. How are you today? Are you okay? Yes, fine, thank you. Okay, very good. Welcome, Carmen, David, Richard, Hector, and Maggie, and Jamilet. Okay, seven participants are on time. Very good. Let's get started today with this phrase. Okay. Let me read it for you. Don't talk, act. Don't say, show. Don't promise, prove. Okay? One more time, listen. Don't talk, act. Don't say, show. Don't promise, prove. Okay, can you repeat after me, please? Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. talk. Don't, talk. Don't, talk. Don't, talk. Don't say. Show. Don't say. Don't say. Show. Say. Show. Um, don't promise. Prove. Don't, don't promise. Prove. 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 Okay. One more time. Don't talk. Act. Don't, Don't talk. talk. Act. 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 Okay. Remember this word. Uh, talk. 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 Yeah. No es talk. No es talk. <laughs> la, la L no se pronuncia. Okay. Talk. Talk. Okay, talk. 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 Mm -hmm. talk. Don't talk. Don't, Don't talk. talk. Okay, good. Don't say show. Don't say, Don't say show. show. Don't promise. Prove. Don't, Don't, Don't promise. promise. Prove. Okay. Do you understand this? ¿Qué nos quieren decir aquí? No hables. No hables. Actúa. Ah, actúa. Muy bien. Don't say. Don't say. No digas. Presenta. No, no digas. Ajá. Show, show. Show es como mostrar. Mostrar algo. Ok. Si yo le digo, show me your work. Show me your work. Muéstrame tu trabajo. Okay, show me your book. Muéstrame tu libro. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, por eso dice, don't say. No solo. <laughs> show. Mm -hmm. And finally, don't promise. <laughs> Prove. No prometas. No prometas, demuestra. Prueba. Pruébalo, ¿verdad? O demuéstralo, pudiera ser también, ¿ok? Ok. So, action. And, yeah. So, you are, you are doing this because you are studying English. No sé cuánto tiempo ustedes dijeron, ah, oh, voy a estudiar inglés. Pero hoy sí lo están haciendo. Ok, good for you. 
good for you. Thanks. Okay, very good. Yesterday uh, we did some practice. Um, let's go with this, okay? Just to ha have a short review. Uh, when is Mother's Day? Mother's Day on May 10th. Uh -huh. Okay, let me write this here. But remember the, the, the complete form. Mother's Day, okay, dictum. Mother's Day. Okay, okay now. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Uh huh. It's on. It's on. It's on. May. on. May. on. May. Ten. 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 Ah, ten. 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 No, okay. Ten. Mother's Day ten. is on May 10th. Mother's Day is on May 10th. Muy bien. When is Father's Day? Father's Day is on June 17th. Um, Julia, June, June. June 17th. 17th. Okay, very good. Father Day is on June 17th. Yes, perfect. When is Teacher's Day? Teacher's Day is on June 22nd. 22nd. Ah, yes, 22nd. Por a ver quién está con el chinchín ahí, con el, con el patito de, de la bañera. Okay, what about Independence Day? When is Independence Day? Independence, Independence Day is on September. September. Is on September. Fifteenth. Fifteenth. Yeah, fifteenth. When is your birthday? Vamos a ver quién está. No me voy a preguntar a uno porque no le puedo preguntar a todos. One, two, three. Jamilet. When is your birthday, Jamilet? My birthday is on December 30. Aha, uh -huh. September 3rd. December. December. December 3rd. December 3rd. A ver, y si yo le pregunto a Héctor, when is Jamilet's birthday? Birthday. The birthday of Jamilet is on December 3rd. Aha. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver, lo voy a copiar como usted lo dijo. The birthday of Jamilet is on December 3rd. Esto es correcto, pero no es la forma en que se dice. No es lo común, no es la manera en que se maneja. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? Her, the Jamilet birthday is on December 3rd. Jamilet? ¿Así? The Jamilet birthday is on December 3rd. December 3rd. ¿Así? Yes. No puede ir. Her birthday is. Pero te, no sabemos de quién estamos sí, hablando. Sí, sí. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Pero algo le falta. Algo le falta. El, si es, 
before the name. Ah. Jamilet birthday. Ah. Jamilet. Jamilet. birthday. Okay. okay. ¿Cómo se llama esto? No, I don't know. Ah. Es un apóstrofe. Positive. Sí, pero ¿cómo se llama eso? No, la, co la comita se llama apóstrofe. ¿Como contracción? No, no es una contracción. El posesivo. Exacto. Ok. Ajá, esto es lo que se llama un... Ya creo que ya lo vieron, solo lo estamos recordando. Posesivo. Possessive noun. No. Uh -huh. Un nombre posesivo. Es lo que, lo que se ha usado aquí también. ¿Eh? Es esto. ¿Verdad? Lo que se ha usado aquí. ¿Verdad? Esto es un possessive. ¿Eh? Possessive. ¿Eh? Possessive noun. Porque es un nombre, un sustantivo. Mother es un sustantivo, un noun. Father, it's a noun. ¿Ya? Entonces, igual, Jamilet's birthday. Esto quiere decir el cumpleaños de Jamilet. ¿Ok? Ok. Jamilet Bird. Esto es un possessive noun. Very good. Very I good. have a question. So, okay, tell me. Um, yesterday you said we used the in with um, so about the place in general or month. And we used the on we talk about the specific day. But mm -hmm. now you stand See you in class at eight o'clock. Ah. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. Solo rapidito porque verdad no es el tema, pero para. We use in. Um, let me write here. I'm going to write here. Ok. Yeah, man. Crear algo. Vamos a borrar esto. Give me a second to explain this. Um, quickly, I'm going to explain this. Okay. So, we use in, on, at, ¿verdad? Ahora, aquí estamos hablando de time, tiempo. Ok. In is for month, or seasons, in the, in the summer, in the winter, estaciones, ok, o lo que se llamaría periods of time, por ejemplo, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, ok, early in, early in the morning, yeah, es un periodo de tiempo, la mañana, Yeah. We use in. Todo lo que tenga que ver con un periodo de tiempo. In the afternoon. Uh, in January. In uh, incluso years. Yeah. We are in 2020. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We use on for dates, 
Uh -huh. Days. ¿Ya? Como vimos ayer, la fecha cuando damos día y mes. On August 27th, we are on January 28th. Uh, Mother's Day is on uh, the, uh, May 10th. Okay, we have class on Tuesday. Uh, my birthday is on Saturday. So, días. Ya, cuando damos una fecha específica es un día. Okay. okay. On the on the weekend, porque son días específicos. Y we use at for specific time. Okay. Time. At 8 o'clock. At 7 p.m. Okay. At midnight. At noon. Yeah. So we use at for specific times. So month, dates, or days, specific times. So, para explicar rápidamente, aunque probablemente más adelante lo veamos. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, let's finish with this. Today we are going to continue with a, a conversation. To use, to talk about future, okay? We are going to start talking about future with going to future with going to okay we have a video and we are going to watch this video is about the future with be going to okay Let me share the audio from the computer. I'm going to mute you for a moment and watch the video, please. Sir, yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday! Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous! When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice! Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing Happy Birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb 
plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, M. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart, are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are, the subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay, so now let's practice this conversation. Okay, I'm going to read the conversation again, and then we're going to practice, okay? So listen to the conversation, please. Uh, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, now 
we are going to practice. Okay. okay. Repeat after me, please. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, I'm, I'm going, going to celebrate, celebrate my, my birthday. birthday. My birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? Fabulous. Fabulous. It's August 9th, Sunday. It is August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? So, so what, what, what are, are your plans? plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Well, well my friend Kayla, is Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's yeah. so embarrassing. Yeah, the waiters are probably, yeah. going, to sing waiter birthday birthday. probably birthday. going to sing happy birthday to me. Embarrassing. Okay, good. Now, embarrassing. 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 Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. Okay, now I am Angie and you are Philip. Okay. Okay? Good. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, well I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. 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 The waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. So embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Okay, very good. Now, I am, uh, you are Angie and I am Philip. Okay? okay. So you begin. One, yeah. two, you three. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. It's August 9th, Sunday. So, well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, very good. Any question uh, with the conversation? No. No? No, I understand. No. Uh, I understand. I understand it. Okay, very good. What is embarrassing? Complicated. Vergonzoso, ¿no? Ajá, embarazoso, vergonzoso, penoso. Okay. Uh, very good. Now, uh, if you see, we have different expressions about future. Yeah. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? This is future. And I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Future. 
Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Future. Is she going to order a cake? Question for future. And the waiters are probably going to sing. The waiters, uh huh. The waiters are going to sing. Are probably going to sing. Happy birthday to me. Future, okay? So we use going to to talk about future. Good. Now I am going to put you in groups to practice this conversation. Okay? okay. For a few minutes. This conversation. So please um, do, 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 here. There are 13. Let's make um, five groups. Join the groups, please. And practice the conversation two or three times.
favors. Okay, welcome back. So let's study a little bit about the the grammar to talk about future using be going to. Okay. Basically, let's let's take a look to the structure of the sentences. Yeah, observe we we use subject, then verb to be, then going to to see an Usar, going to the verb and complement. Okay. Okay. I am going to celebrate my birthday. She is going to invite all my friends. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. And the questions. Oh, of course, the negative form is is very is very simple because the negative form we only add not. Not. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. For example, I am not going to celebrate my birthday i am she, he, she is not going to invite all my friends that's the negative form solo le agregamos el no. not okay and the questions Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, si yo tengo, vamos a hacer esta. Um, here, no, es esto. Okay. The questions. Empezamos con el verb to be. Luego el subject. Luego el going to, luego el verb, y finally the complement. ¿Ya? Yeah. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Are the waiters going to sing to you? Um, another example, we will say, is digamos, your uh, brother, digamos, esto, going to Come to come, verbo, to class. Yeah. Verb to be is sujeto, your brother. Going to, que siempre lo vamos a agregar, el verbo come to class. The complement. Mm -hmm. Y cómo responderíamos esto? Puede ser un yes, he is, or no, he is. Okay. okay. <clears throat> yeah. Another example oh, could be is 
subject, the teacher going to um, what? Uh, give a homework. No, no, he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, he isn't. Okay, so that's the way to make questions in this uh, form. Alguna pregunta aquí? And I can respond that the is the teacher going to give a homework? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah. You can respond that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, this form going to in speaking language, speaking in a uh, people don't pronounce going to exactly okay mm -hmm. people say gonna gonna, gonna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is like in spanish porque esta forma es como el voy a okay. voy a ir a trabajar ¿Verdad? usualmente que decimos Buir. <laughs> Voy a trabajar. Voy al super. Okay. Well. Yeah. So gringos say gonna. Gonna. Mm -hmm. Gonna. Yeah. Okay. Y esto se le diría. Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna have a party? No. I'm gonna go out with a friend. I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna yes. go. Yes. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. go. Uh -huh. We're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Cafe. Uh huh. O sea, Esto es lo que se convierte en el gonna. Okay. I'm gonna have a party. No, I'm gonna mm -hmm. eat out with a friend. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna to a restaurant? Okay. Yes, we're gonna to eat cafe. Okay, let's practice this. Repeat after me. Okay. Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna, gonna have, have a, party? a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. No, no. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, go out, out with, with a friend. friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Yes, yeah. okay, very good. Now, I'm gonna give you uh, five minutes or a little bit more in groups, but uh, first, I want you to write five activities you are going to do tomorrow, okay. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna take a shower in the morning. I'm gonna call to eat. The, the client. I'm gonna eat lunch. At I got, I gonna eat study lunch. English. I'm gonna study. I'm study okay. English. Oh. Escriban five sentences about five activities you are going to do tomorrow. 
And mm -hmm. then you are going to talk about that in your groups. Okay? okay. Individually, okay. write five things. And then lo comparten en el grupo. Okay. So I put you in groups again. <coughs> to work on that. Eso lo haremos en WhatsApp. No, ahí en el grupo, ahí platicando, es a practice, okay. speaking practice. Primero en su cuaderno. Okay. Ah, okay. ok, ok, ok. Ok, ahí escriban y luego las comparten okay. en el grupo. Vamos a asignar here and here.
juga tuh bah Okay, welcome yes. back. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So, can you tell me about your activities tomorrow, volunteer? One activity that you're going to do tomorrow. Mm. I want. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need the sentence using I'm going to. Uh, okay, Jacqueline I am going, going to, to work tomorrow. Okay. Through? I have a question. Okay, dime. I'm going to rest in rest in bed rest in bed in the morning when coming at house before the work in the night ah okay yeah after work after work after work i'm after. going to rest in my bed after work after okay. working at night Okay. One more. Um, I am gonna out with my husband. I'm gonna go. I'm go out. I'm gonna go out. Go out. Go out. Mm -hmm. Recuerda que el gon, gonna es voy a. Uh, voy a qué? Go out. Okay. I'm gonna go. Voy a ir. Okay, thanks. One more. I have a question. Okay. Dígame. Okay. How do you pronounce is going to or go going now? Gonna. 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 Going to? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, gonna. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Gonna study. Gonna play. Gonna work. Okay, Are you going to wake up I, early in the morning? I'm going to wake up early in the morning. Uh -huh. I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to work. Okay. I'm going to have a meeting tomorrow. Okay. Very Are good. Are you going to dance with your friends this night? Ah, okay. Okay, class. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow with this. We have to stop because someone else is going to use this session. Okay, thank class. you. Okay? Okay. Great job. Okay. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Bye, bye bye. Thank you. Take care. Take care. You too.